episode, it's all about laughs, as I've picked out some hilarious autobiographies for you. There are loads of comedians out there who have written some really funny autobiographies, but I have done the hard work for you and picked out five, all narrated by the author. First up is James Acaster's classic scrapes by James Acaster. This hilarious caper of an audiobook is just what you need to take yourself out of your own life and into James's disaster-filled one. Mixing some out there moments with the mundanity of life, it's so funny throughout. You like James? You'll like this. When I was a baby, I urinated into my own mouth. Uh, I don't remember doing it, but my mother told me it happened and she has no reason to lie. Uh, as far as I can gather, I was lying on my back naked and I somehow managed it. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not go into the details. Next is How Not To Be A Boy by Robert Webb. In this one, Robert looks at the so-called rules for being a man, all the macho stuff, and sees where that did or didn't apply in his own journey to becoming a man. It's got cultural references aplenty, which I'm told are especially enjoyed by 70s and 80s children. And there are some emotional and poignant passages in there too, just in case you need a break from all that chuckling. If I get this right, Tess Rampling will definitely want to have sex with me. The idea slouches through my 15-year-old brain and disappears before I've had time to ask it exactly why a sixth former of Rampling's cosmic beauty would want to have sex with a GCSE pit sniffer like me. Next is The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl by Issa Rae. The dry sense of humour in this is spot on, as is Issa's delivery of the audiobook. Anyone who feels awkward can revel in this, and if you're a fan of Issa, or maybe you saw her YouTube series, Awkward Black Girl, this gives you the chance to get to know her a little bit more. Moving to Los Angeles instigated another present day fatty food obsession, Mexican food. Tortillas and beans and cheese, oh my. So much cheese, so many nachos, so many artery clogging, delectable, filling foods that don't even exist in Mexico. Whoever concocted these Mexican treats, I love you. Now we have Surprisingly Down to Earth and Very Funny by Limmy. Limmy doesn't hold anything back in this autobiography. It's full of dark humour as he takes you through his mental health battles and through other snippets and mishaps of his life, right from school up to writing the book. Reviewers on Audible are absolutely obsessed with this audiobook. They love it. So if you give it a go, let me know if you fall into that camp. The Bollywig. It was a tennis ball, a tennis ball with cotton wool for hair and a face on it. I didn't realise at the time, but I think it was a play on the word gollywog. This was the late 70s. But other than the name, there was nothing potentially racist about it. Next is Happy Fat by Sophie Hagen. Sophie is so honest in her memoir. It's an ode to self-love and it's a discussion of fat phobia. And she manages to do that while making it incredibly funny. There are also some cheeky ad-libs in the audiobook that you won't find in the print version. Win. Hello, it's me, Sophie Hagen. Thank you so much for listening to my audiobook. I have decided to record it myself, so... Hello, this is my voice. I hope you like it. This is also my accent. That's something we just all have to live with. So those were my five funniest autobiography audiobooks. I'd love to know which is your favourite, or if I've missed any, drop me a comment below and let me know what I should be listening to. And for now, it's about time I gave James A. Gasters another listen. Thanks for watching, and hit subscribe. I feel